Welcome to a website review here. This is Kathy Kolb, and um, I'm a bit of a weather fan. And we have a bit of a winter storm coming up the coast here, so this is a good opportunity to look at a couple of different weather sites. And um, these are just my opinions. Uh, I am a professional web developer and uh, have over 15 years of experience in the field, but uh, they are just my opinions. So, uh, let's go to um, AccuWeather's homepage, and uh, again, this is, a, this is the main story, snowstorm threatens power outages to Philly. Uh, there is the snowfall map, which is, I would think most people are going to go to the site for. Some recent, uh, this is of course on March 5th, so these are, we have four, five, six, seven, eight. videos that were made today, which is good. It's only 9 a.m., so uh, that's good. Current content. Storm impacts up here. Uh, interesting graphic and uh, live updates of the storm, so that's interesting. But, but the main thing is we want to know how much snow we're going to get. I would think most people want to know that, so we're going to click on that. And we have a nice reddish graphic for troubles, and that's good. We don't have a video here. I find that interesting. Not necessarily bad, but interesting. Some people like to listen to videos while they read their mail and catch up on Facebook and stuff. Uh, here's the snowfall map. This is one of the best uh, graphics uh, for snowfall maps. And uh, AccuWeather's been using them for years. The problem with this one is you can't zoom. You see that's non-clickable. can't zoom on it. Uh, let's see, we have... A, Good, good comment stream on uh, most of these weather sites. Um, totally confusing is why we would have another conflicting weather map up here, a, a snowfall total map, which is what everybody's looking for. Uh, March of the same the same month, the same uh, date except for the year. Wow, where where's the confusion? How many people are going to look at that and think, oh no, northern uh, New York's going to get hammered? today, tomorrow, so I question that, but, um, so say we want to watch a video, I want to watch a video report of today's weather, and there's a lot going on in today's weather, I want to watch a video of it, but okay, so let's go back to the home page, and, um, I want to watch a video, bum, 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 bum. how do I know, oh, okay, videos, I could go here, also, if I hover over here, which is, that counts as discovery graphics, because I, there's nothing there to say, you know, if you hover here, you have 20 more choices. Discovery graphics is often a mm, less than optimal choice. But if I go there, I could go to news and video, weather video, I could go there. So, But let's go down here, national live feed, this is a national story. Chicago land snowstorm well. It's where the storm is now. I'm not really in Chicago, so I want to know what it's going to be here on the east. Breaking, we breaking weather. Southern storms, nah. Peach State, no, I'm not in Georgia. I'm on the east coast. Okay, so maybe winter storm blasts across 19 states. Nah, 19. So it's probably not going to be focused on the future, but. A dangerous a winter storm is moving from the Midwest to the Mid-Atlantic. Nineteen states from North Dakota to North Carolina lie in its path of destruction. The storm has already spread snow and blizzard conditions across the Dakotas. Grand Forks reported as much as seven inches. And while this is great news to cab drivers in Minneapolis, where winter storms provide a band-aid of stimulus to the economy. If you need a cab to the airport, you're less likely to ask a family member to drive you. Maybe they hate driving in snow. For whatever reason, um, cab business it gets very, very busy when it snows. The snow may mean money for some. It puts many others on edge. March is rolling in like a lion, so it's better be prepared. And that's what D.C. residents are doing. The storm is expected to hit our nation's capital hard, dumping several inches of heavy wet snow that may cause power outages. The city is preparing now by fully stocking their salt trucks. For AccuWeather, I'm Julie Lafmed. So that is... That's an interesting, um, it's going to go right to the next uh, in the video, isn't it? Um,
So that's an interesting report. Uh, pretty good. A synopsis, kind of what you would see, you know, running on a, a news show. Um, didn't really have the snow total in there for us, and but a, but a pretty decent. Uh, so typically, I go and I say I, I want to see uh, uh, Elliot Abrams. So I, okay, so let's see what Elliot Abrams is saying about this storm. Oh, well, the top blog is from four days ago. Mm, that's kind of old. Uh, but anyway, I want to get Elliot's take on the storm. Okay, this wasn't uh, this wasn't uh, updated today. And, you know that happens. Okay, so there is a video from the person that I watched the most, but it's a day old, and you know that's okay. That happens. People need days off and stuff. Okay, so let's go to the next one. You know, interesting that I suspect. Uh, that the competition knows online that the other, the next, uh, or the competing site is just one click away off, and I have them in the uh, browser bar up there. So now we go over to the Weather Channel. Um, if I have a bias between these two, I'm probably rooting for AccuWeather, frankly, because they're only an hour from here, and I grew up with, you know, seeing AccuWeather all over the place, and uh, I, you know, I, I know the the names and stuff. So, so there's, there's a full disclosure there. That uh, if I have a bias, it's probably uh, towards AccuWeather. Okay, so now let's look at the Weather Channel, which uh, was bought by NBC, which was bought by Comcast. So, um, interesting. So they're in a storm mode, and they're going to tell you right up top. Breaking now. Storm, winter storm to impact millions. They also have this interesting social tie-in, see friends at risk. So they're, they, they're going to say right up top, bam, we're in a big storm. It, with the red, I, li I like that. This is saying this is daggone important. So that's good. Now I would have expected a video here. We have a screenshot. It's interesting. Um, when was this posted? Posted today, this morning. Okay, that's good. Uh, that's more of a today shot uh, into into Saturday. That's interesting. Oh, no, 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 it's not Saturday. Tracking Sat. Oh, they must have named this one Saturn. Well, that's just confusing. Let's be frank. Uh, and the last one was, what, Q or something? It didn't even have a name. I mean, it could have been Queenie. And, um, there are names with, with, with Q. But, uh, so that's, that's a fail, I would say. Tracking today. Um, but we want to know what's going on in the capital. Okay, so click two. Oh, they want a double page views. Isn't that nice? Um, uh, looks tracking tomorrow. Okay, well, th th this look looks like a mess. We want the snowfall totals. Okay, so here's the snowfall totals. They're calling a lot lower. Four to six in Pittsburgh. Oh, four to six in Pittsburgh. Okay. Well, they're going to let us expand this, which is good. Where's the... Okay, 12 down here. This is misleading, and that 4 to 6 is down here, but it's actually 12 plus. Okay, so it is expandable. That's good. It's, uh, it, it has good colors, good contrast. It communicates well. Uh, I'd say that's a win. When was it run? This morning, 9.17. Okay, like 10 minutes ago. That's great. Okay. Uh, pretty good. The flood alerts. These are good. Uh, I had seen yesterday that uh, the water could get backed up in here. And so that's a good map. Let's see what it looks like. Expanded, that's good. That's very good. Uh, and then we go on to something that, these look interesting, but it has nothing to do with the storm. Okay, nothing over here that's uh, messing us up. Their social media tie-in is good. I have no idea what 1904 is until I go over again. Okay, so let's look. If we were going to go for, we want to see a video, a synopsis of this breaking news. Mm. Uh, it's not a video, I don't think. Nope. Nope. Okay. But plenty of information, both places. Okay, so now let's go to Eastern PA Weather Blogs, which is a sort of up and comer they're using. Um, Facebook well, or you do social media well. This website is a mess. 
I don't know what monitor they design it on, but I mean, it, it, we have a winter background picture here. And uh, look at the size of this header. Storm, there's in the storm mode. Arr, there's Godzilla, I think, in the water. I don't know what that has to do with. Okay, so it's interesting. It's certainly for the uh, event, I would rather see some red up there. Red signifies alert. Uh, okay, so time date. Alright, um, not sure at all what this graphic does. Uh, geographic placement, I suspect. Okay, so here's the ticker, which, wow, making someone wait for linear information anymore is not uh, not a good way to go. Um, let's just sit here for 10 seconds and wait for our town to come by. Not. Countdown to spring. That's kind of cool. Has nothing to do with storm mode. Uh, new model pages is good. This site is often for, you know, kind of targeting more weather nerds, which is cool. Uh, they're affiliated in some way with uh, Weatherbell, and uh, Joe Bastardi is a is a, a really great forecaster. Um, so they have some screenshots. Let's go back to the weather maps, which are very good. Uh, they post them on Facebook on a regular basis, and they're they're uh, really getting known. Again, this header is just huge. I don't know if they're uh, designing for mobile and desktop at the same time or what, but. Uh, those, those headers are here. And maybe they're designing on a huge monitor, but um, realistically, that's just using up a whole lot of landscape for the information. Okay, let's look at their uh, snow map, which is really what we're focusing here on, which is very interesting in that it deviates largely from what the previous two market leaders are using as far as colors and things. Um, plenty of contrast here, I would say that. Uh, I don't care for the colors, but... Uh, and it also looks like almost 8-bit graphics, doesn't it? Or 256 colors. Or For some reason, it's not high resolution at all, so that's kind of interesting. But, but the information is there. Uh, they don't ex extend it out into the water, but uh, so it looks kind of weird just presented that way, but it works. Um, they have something really interesting, um, which is this Google Maps version. Check this out. So it, it loads up and it has coded regions, color-coded regions on Google Maps. Um, and they have the legend over here, too. So that's cool. And in that, you can zoom in on this. So this is the nicest zoomable uh, weather snow forecast map that we've seen between the uh, three of them. So. Uh, kudos to embracing new technology in a, in a meaningful way. Uh, so, this is March the 5th, 2013, and uh, that's my take on the weather websites for today. I hope you've enjoyed this brief uh, comparison between the sites, and I uh, hope you have a good day. Peace.